We're going to take a look at Rise for the iPhone. If we open up our application, it's going to load us up here into where we can set an alarm for tomorrow. All we have to do now is tap on the time and go ahead and scroll up or down on our screen based upon the time that we want to set it. So for example, if we're wanting to set an alarm for say 6.30 in the morning, we'll come down here to 6 and we'll let go on 6.30. But if we actually want it to be say for 6.15, all we have to do now is tap on the screen above the 630, tap on it twice, and here we are at 615 now. And if we wanted to adjust the time lower or higher, we can just tap on the bottom of it now and it's going to go up, maybe 645, and now we'll tap on it again above the top, put it back to 630. You see the actual background kind of changes around with the actual time giving us a graphical layout of the approximate sun of the sky. Now what we can do is swipe over from the right to the left to go ahead and set our alarm. Now you see it kind of dims out the screen, gives us a countdown letting us know that our alarm is actually going to happen in 6.30 a.m. and 14 hours and 32 minutes until we actually have to rise. Now we can swipe over to the right again to turn the alarm off, or if we go ahead and turn it back on, we can even swipe over from the left to the right to turn it off again, and we can even swipe from left to right to even enable the alarm. Now when the alarm actually goes off, to actually snooze the alarm, you pull over from the left to the right. Now you'll notice that once the alarm is set, there are a few different settings. Let's go ahead and set the alarm again. Now down here in the bottom, we have our playlist control, where we can tap on that and we can actually create a playlist based upon the music on our device to where we can wake up to a playlist. We can close this out, come back in here, and we can actually control the volume now. We can slide up or down to control the alarm volume. You see we can go all the way from 100 all the way down to off. And we can even repeat our alarm. We'll go ahead and tap on that and it's going to repeat our alarm as often as we have that enabled. Let's go ahead and turn our alarm off. And now what we'll do is we'll launch the settings from the bottom of the screen. We'll slide up from the bottom and it's going to load our settings. Here we can choose to vibrate only. Now if we tap on that it's only going to vibrate and have no alarm sound. We can choose a song from iTunes if we tap on pick from iTunes. We can have our screen flash for hard of hearing, but you see that the rise will need to be open and our device unlocked for this feature to work. Go ahead and tap that off again. And we can go ahead and choose a sound down here for our alarm. We have a few different built-in alarms that we can choose from. Find the one that suits you best and let it be your alarm. The next setting, we'll go ahead and tap on the settings gear. We can choose a progressive alarm. If we tap on that, it's going to enable that. We can choose a snooze limit. Tap on snooze and we can go all the way up to 60 minutes and all the way down to off. I suggest between a 5 or a 10 minute snooze if you like to use the snooze feature. We can choose to repeat our alarm in here. Tap on that. We can vibrate with alarm. We cannot dim alarm. You see we can dim our alarm screen all the way down to 95 and bring it all the way up to off. We can also use a user guide, show credits, and show special thanks. There's one last menu here with the question mark where we can view different things that the application can do. One last feature of the application is if we tap on the clock at the top, you see it brings us a full screen clock for our current time. Now if we tap and hold on the screen, we have a few different things we can do too. We can use the current weather conditions for our background, which will show us the current weather here. Tap and hold on again and we can even use an overlay of the camera right here for our clock so we can see what our camera sees here on our device. Tap and hold again and we can choose the contrast option which brings us back to our default view. Tap on the clock again and it will bring us back to our rise where we can go ahead and set our alarm for our next appointment or our next wake up or anything like that that we would like to use rise for. And this is how you're going to use rise for the iPhone.